Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the weapons of hot dogs, horseshoes and high grenades. Today we are taking a look at this lovely pistol. And it is just one pistol. This just has a... Uh, the stock attached. So uh, what is this pistol? Oh, and it has a bigger round magazine, but we'll get to that later. This pistol is the Bergman number no. five. So what is the Bergman Bergman number no. five? Well, Bergman, of course, one of the early uh, innovators of semi-automatic pistols, was trying to sell his pistols to uh, militaries. However, they were not particularly happy with. Uh, the cartridges uh, that the pistols were using, they weren't powerful enough. So uh, for the number five, Bergman took this cartridge, seven point, the 7.8 millimeter Bergman, which is similar to 7.63 millimeter Mauser, but they're not compatible. And uh, he went from a blowback system on uh, his previous pistols to a locked breech. I forgot, forget what uh, what kind of locked breech exactly, but it is one which does check ZZ29 use as well. Uses as well, if I'm not wrong. It's not a common system, at least I remember that much. My mistake for forgetting. And uh, yeah, so he came up with this pistol. A 10 round magazine came standard. And uh, just like the other Bergman, like the Bergman Simplex, I have covered that earlier, be free to uh, look at that video. It has the magazine up front, which uh, you can either uh, replace manually or uh, you can actually top it up with a stripper clip. Something we don't have in uh, the game as far as I'm aware, but stripper clips aren't that great when you can just uh, quickly replace that way. So, uh, the, this pistol still wasn't a military success. None of the Bergmans were. And uh, I, for more details, I definitely recommend you check out Forgotten Weapons videos on the Bergman. Uh, there was a pretty infamous time period in his channel where there was literally the Bergman channel. So, uh, he has more than enough content on it. And as always with Ian, excellent content. content. So, check it out. I won't go that in that in this video. But, I will shoot this thing. But first, like I said, magazine up front. It has a very thin and vertical uh, grip. It is a single action, so hammer is locked back. And you can't shoot from without. It has a... It's not really a slide, but it's like, kind of slide. Not the whole front moves, at least. It also has, you can hold in game, you can also hold the front, but we're not going to do that. And let's shoot it. It has a standard v notch sight. And it locks open on empty, which makes this a lot quicker. It has no uh, slide release though, so you have to pull back and voila. Right, I think it doesn't have a slide release. Let's... Uh... Let's double check. That was the mag release. No slide release. And I forgot to mention something else. It has witness holes in the magazine, so you can see how many rounds is left. So that's 10 rounds. It's a double stack, double feed magazine. 10 rounds. Two rounds, matching holes in the pistol. So you always know how many rounds you have left. So if we shoot five rounds. Ta-da! So also, as with uh, uh, all pistols of uh, the 1890s and early 1900s, it came, or you had the option, of a stock, which was, of course, attachable. Attaches with this little thing here, onto the bottom, as you can see here, just up, 
and it fits perfectly. And in game we have a 20 round magazine as well, with witness holes for the first 10 rounds I believe. Yeah. And then we have a lovely carbine version. Literally no recoil. Ain't that lovely. We Let's see how accurate we can get. Pretty good, pretty good. So yeah, this uh, pistol is uh, the Bergman number five. It's an early semi-automatic pistol, not a big success, but we have it here in hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. So I hope you all enjoyed this uh, quick little uh, view, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.